What's up, Buttercup? In this video, we're talking about getting verified on Solsi. So I'm gonna get into what is collection verification, why it's important, and how to do it. But before I do, I would really appreciate it if you take a second to like this video. It helps me out so much, so I appreciate you doing that. Let's get right into it. So what is collection verification on Solsi and why is it important? Solsi is an open marketplace. So what that means is anyone can go on and mint an NFT and make a collection, which is amazing, especially for new artists starting out because there's such a low barrier to entry. However, being an open marketplace can be kind of risky because since anyone can upload anything, people could theoretically take someone else's art, make an NFT out of it, and sell it as their own. So to prevent this, Solsi has a verification process. So if you make a collection, you can go through a process to verify it. I will note you cannot verify individual NFTs. So that's why I think it's a good idea and I always recommend artists to make a collection. That way you can be verified because a lot of people don't wanna buy unverified NFTs just because it's risky, like you can't confirm if that person was actually the artist that made that. So people feel a lot safer buying unverified NFTs. So I strongly recommend making a collection. Even if you are a one of one artist and you wanna just make random one of one pieces that aren't you know, cohesive in like a theme or something like that, I think you can still make a collection that is just a bunch of random one of ones. That's kind of what I did. My collection is called Point of Departure and it's just gonna be, just my first art pieces. I knew starting out, like this is my first time doing digital art. I don't have like a style or a theme. So I just made a super broad kind of collection that I can add any art to. So I think that is a good idea. Okay, let's get into how to actually apply for verification on Solsi. So we're starting on Solsi and make sure your wallet is connected and that you're signed into your account. So we're gonna head over to my profile. This might be obvious, but I just do wanna mention you do have to create the collection and have the NFTs in the collection before you apply for verification. So to get started, we're gonna head over to my profile and click collection verification. Then you're gonna select whatever collection that you wanna get verified and this will pop up. So of course my collection has been verified. So I have this little green box right here that says so. Obviously if you're starting out, you won't have that, but we're gonna go down and the first thing you're gonna do is fill out all of your personal contact information. So Solsi is going to want your Twitter handle, your Discord username, your Telegram username, and your Instagram username. So make sure you fill out all of that information. And then here where it says external minting, if you minted your NFTs on Solsi, you can completely ignore this part and then just scroll down, which is what I'm gonna do. This is only if you minted your NFTs someplace other than Solsi. You would type in the candy machine IDs or hashes there. We're just gonna scroll right past that. And here we're gonna get to the most important part. So proof of authorship. So this is where Solsi wants actual proof that you are the person who created the artwork. So I've heard of artists doing this in many different ways. I'll talk about what I do. So the art that I do makes it really easy. I use Procreate and it automatically records a time-lapse of me drawing. I'll put them up somewhere so you can see, which is really cool because that is the exact proof right there that I need that I drew the art piece. I export that from Procreate and I put it in a Google Drive and then I get a shareable link to that Google Drive. Make sure that your link is a shareable link. A lot of times Google Drive things can be privated so you can put in the link and you send it to Solsi and then they actually can view it with the link because they don't have the permissions. So make sure that whatever link you're sending them has permissions to actually view the contents. So I have that video sitting in a Google Drive and I just link it right here. Now, if you are not using Procreate and you don't have a time lapse of you actually making the artwork, I've heard of artists doing this in a lot of different ways. So one, if you made the physical artwork, I've heard of artists kind of having a video of their studio, of them with the actual artwork. I've heard of photographers being on site of them where the picture was taken, like with their camera, things like that. You kind of have to get creative, but it's just anything to show Solsi that you are the ones that made the art. And I'm forgetting what the button would say. It wouldn't say update collection. I'm assuming it would say verify collection, but all you gotta do is click that button. Okay, next I wanna talk about who qualifies for Solsi verification. So if you go to their frequently asked questions, it says that you must have a thousand followers on Twitter, Instagram, or Discord to qualify for collection verification. However, I will say I do know a bunch of artists who have gotten verified without a thousand followers. And I think Soul Siege just really wants to know that you have an active community or that you're actively building a community. So if you have a Twitter and Instagram and Discord and you're super active and you're posting content and you have your face there making the art, I've noticed that Solsi tends to verify people even if they have less than a thousand followers. So I will put that out there. Don't let it deter you. You can always apply for verification and if it gets rejected, you can apply again. 
So after, when you submit your verification, it'll be pending verification, that will be the status, and you can always check the status by just going to collection verification in Solsi. So in case your verification status gets rejected, Solsi will provide you with an explanation of why. So it could be something simple, like you just forgot to put in some of the information. And if that's the case, you can just go back. You can go back to collection verification and then just type in whatever information that you forgot to put that made them reject your application and just scroll down and click update verification. My button's not there obviously because mine's pending, but that's how you would do that. Also, another thing to know, if you are adding new NFTs to a collection that's already been verified, which is what I'm doing right now, I have my point of departure collection, it's already been verified, but I'm adding this one original one of one, the finding balance piece to that collection, it doesn't automatically become verified. So if you have a verified collection, you make new NFTs, add them in that collection, they will still show up as unverified, even if it's in the verified collection. And all you have to do to get those re-verified is go to this collection verification page once again, and then just scroll down and click update verification. And that's all you do. However, if you again minted the NFTs not on Solsi, you'd have to type in the new mint addresses there. And then same thing, just go down and click update verification. So it's a pretty simple, straightforward process. You're honestly just typing in a little bit of basic information. Oh, okay. It says the shortest answer is there's no time estimate we can give you. Yeah, so I've heard of times all over from a couple days to a couple weeks. Um, I know that they are getting faster and faster as they grow. So just be patient. It is well worth the wait because having that verified sign on your collection, it makes you look legit um, and it's very very attractive to buyers so yeah i think that's about it just to show you when it's verified you'll get this beautiful blue check and then it'll say verified collection right here all right i think that is it you guys i hope this video was a little helpful it's a pretty straightforward process i wish you all the luck of verifying your collection and i will see you in the next one peace